guys, um, whoever's watching this. This is uh, Magnus Core, aka Scotty Wilson. And uh, just a little update since I haven't um, posted much on my channel or anything really. Uh, Galaxy S phone to uh, no, I'll just make a little video. Uh, I got my Xbox 360 hooked up. It's been a few months now since I've just gotten kind of disenfranchised with the whole gaming thing. I mean, I still like to game every once in a while. Well, that's actually a lot. I don't game at all, really. But, uh, I got this little dinky laptop that I bought. Yeah. Bought it for somebody else, but um, I'm using it at the moment. And, uh, it's got about the same power as a tablet, I guess. Um, I'm going to be playing a few games on 360 there. I'm, I'm in, mainly just doing it because it browses better than this laptop does. Which is kind of off. <laughs> Ironic. But, um, yeah, um, I'm interested in YouTube content still. I just, all I did on, when I was on PC, uh, if, if you can see it behind the heater, there's my PC. It, uh, last night, um, a huge surge went through it. And it just exploded. Something exploded inside, I think, uh, the power supply or motherboard or both. So, you know, either, probably both of those. I ordered, uh, well, I could show you. I got this trans thing going on here. Go to Google. This laptop is not very good. But uh, I got a good deal on it. I got like it for a hundred dollars. <laughs> so you get what you pay for. Um, let's see. It's called the MSI Nightbleed MI2. And uh, I just go to the official site, even though it's propaganda. <laughs> Intel Core uh, 7, uh, 4, uh, 3, uh, 5, DirectX 12 support, powerful gaming, and a small package, 920 nm ATX graphics capability, it's only got a 30, 350 watt power supply, but it's supposed to be able to play a single, run a single 970 from GTX NVIDIA. Easy access to upgradable components. Silent storm cooling. Sufficient and flexible internal storage capability. It's got good onboard audio. And uh, this, this is a bare bone system that I ordered from uh, Newegg. And uh, I'm just going to put my own my, um, uh, 120 gig SSD from that computer. Uh, boot drive and uh, one terabyte SSD from Seagate and uh, I had to buy some RAM, some, some DDR4 RAM, I just got 8 gigs. And as for the processor, I just got the i3, just uh, it had to be San uh, not Sandy Bridge, but uh, um, Skylake, it had to be Skylake. So I just got the bare minimum just to get it running. So. But that, I mean, people complain about dual cores, but it is Skylake after all, so. And I moved to Intel, so I'll, I've always used AMD processors just about. Uh, uh, back in the day, I used a lot of Intel processors, but that was way before the i-series. Like, what, what is it, Core 2 Quad? Um, core 2 Duos and all. Yeah, I, I'm from that era of gaming, basically. But... Pretty nice. And uh ordered three of these. Which I'm not even using right now, I'm only using one on the 
360. <laughs> so, that was a waste. Uh, this is where I chill, you know. I'm not doing nothing. Turn my globe on when I'm sleeping. Nice little world to sleep to and all <laughs> Uh, I got this. I ordered this this month. I raised a Goliath's mouse pad and a death, death at her mouse. And uh, since I made those other videos, I got these Sennheisers, which I use. And uh, I did get this an external sound card slash amplifier or whatever it is. Works good. It works on the Xbox 360 too. So, um, those monitors are VGA, and I use I got a DisplayPort converter and an HDMI converter when I was using the PC over there. So, but now what I'm using, what I'm doing is uh, I got the the monitor hooked into the HDMI converter. I got plugged into the 360, the Xbox 360, and uh, it has an audio port which is terrible by itself. But with this sound card thing. It uh, sounds uh, sounds pretty good. So I just switch it back and forth from the laptop to the 360. I'm just saying that this is uh, not really doing nothing right now, uh, game wise. Uh, last night was kind of a surprise, so. and, and before that I wasn't playing about th <laughs> three hours a day. So I don't think you call me a gamer. So I actually considered to get like you know kind of a casual type console like. Than an Nvidia Shield Pro or even a Wii U, but I I don't really really <laughs> I don't really want a Wii U because uh kind of a kiddie thing. I'm not saying games are for kids. I'm saying the Wii U is for kids. <laughs> so, but the Nvidia Shield is uh definitely. is definitely a good choice if you're a casual but you like the game a lot like me and uh... you know you want to spend some money on the google play store and also have access to triple a games that are only on the N nvidia shield and good handy games that are only on the Nv uh, nvidia shield like trying to But like I said, I'm just disenfranchised with gaming, basically. I'm sorry. I could have been, it could have been like this the whole time. You know? And I also got my hair cut. Yeah. No long hair Scotty anymore. Uh, so yeah, I haven't really played the 360 yet. I used to play it. That is mine. It's just been in here. Yeah, it's been working in the not working off and on so and uh xbox one is okay but i really don't like it my brother has one in there and uh i don't really like it no good games no good features man no really one only really runs the 720p if i do get this computer and i use that surround setup um that single VGA that I'm going to have to use on the card because you can only use one card um, for my setup uh, I'm going to use that EVGA card too that, um, the GTX 760 I can only run a 900p so it will be like using an Xbox One <laughs> except I'll have the three monitors so yeah just a long ass update of what's going on here. I've been sick lately. Um, real sick with uh, something. I'm not sure what. I'm not really sure. But uh, just chilling in the main cave right now. It's early in the morning, 5:21 a.m. I've gotten a few things here and there, but uh. About to upgrade my PC big time. Yeah. But I thought about just quitting gaming and 
the what, what that kind of game and just get like an Nvidia Shield or even a Wii U, just a or just a laptop maybe. You know, but they're expensive as fuck. And I don't keep up with current events or anything either. This phone's old. Galaxy S. <laughs> Came out like 2013, I think. But it's still good stuff, though. I don't like Android phones, okay? Kind of uh, laggy sometimes. Old OS. Like, uh, I got a problem on this Android. Um, uh, I, I got Pandora, what's it called? Pandora Plus. The ad free Pandora. And, uh, it plays like three or four songs at the same time. It just sounds like chaos. And you can't turn it off. It freezes it up when it does that. So you just have to hope that it lets you turn it down, which it sometimes it doesn't. So then you can fix that. I'm paying four dollars a month for that. It counts. When a paid service shouldn't be like that. It pisses me off. But, uh, yeah, I just stumbled across this guy's channel. <laughs> he seemed pretty funny. seen him before. Just don't let him make a lot of videos. Other people don't watch him. You know, that seems like a motherboard issue. Because, uh, it's not getting... The motherboard light's not turning on. Nothing's happening. You get nothing moves. No parts. Anyway. Oh, that's true. Been laying down mostly. It gets uh cold this time of year. Of course, it is winter. Even though it's Alabama, it's pretty cold. And I hate that my my dog has to be outside. What I try to do is I feed her a lot and put as much fluffy, warm, cottony stuff into her uh, dog hair as I can. But they should let me bring her in. I'm just gonna disenfranchise with gaming. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm not against it. I'm not for it. I just, I always did it too because it appealed to me and I like to do it. I wasn't a gamer. Really. I never claimed to be. But I, I was dedicated enough to build a PC. So. There's that. I did a few Twitch streams. But they only allow you to stream at like 720p, 5 megabytes a second. And that's console's fault. I hate to say it, but. Steam broadcast lets you broadcast at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Or l large megabyte, large bandwidth a second, or whatever. And shadow play, ooh. I mean, you can, you can literally record exactly as your PC is re as rendering the game. 4K, 1440p, 1080p, 60 frames per second and above. <laughs> And uh, it looks just like as you're playing or what you see on the monitor. NVIDIA Shadow Play is the best capture. Anyway, that's kind of uh, old news right now. I just get on Twitter, uh, browse. I've yet to play the 360 games yet. I haven't found them all. I got them. most of those are mine. Uh, I mean, I've never used a phone like this before. What have you? Not in this. 
this location. <laughs> but I might make more videos with this phone because I don't like this format. Uh, I can edit it on, on a computer. Make it 1080p. Can't increase the frames though. Um. You know, I know my channel's kind of boring and everything. But, uh, I never took it seriously. I'm not going to make a career out of YouTube, so. Definitely not. Um. I mean, I have a part time job right now. But I don't, I don't think nothing of it. I mean. I mean, in the South, if you have a job, you can literally you get away with anything. It's like the unwritten law of the South. I'm not trying to sound cynical, but eh, that's just the truth. You can be the little skeevy, scummy, shitty person, and as long as you have a job, it doesn't matter. Just saying. I never got that. I got on my skin a lot. <coughs> Winter. Yeah, had to take that down. Had to take that out because it was just letting too much cold air in here. <sighs> I need to clean out. Well, I already cleaned up as much as I could, but I just got so much clutter. <laughs> my Jimi Hendrix picture there. I may have a few things I don't need, and a lot of things I really need I don't have. <laughs> anyway. Well, I guess I could play a game or something. Let's go ahead and close this out. And if you want to add me on Xbox Live, feel free. Um, I'm not sure if I'll keep using it, but it's a uh, Magnus Core. Let me spell it out for you. Magnus Core. Can you see it? Magnus Core. And uh, I'll even go the extra mile and. Uh, Show you my profile. That's something cool I did find out right before my computer uh, killed itself. <laughs> is uh, you can stream um, Xbox One games to your Windows 10 computer. I just upgraded to Windows 10 and. Uh, And, uh, I'm not sure if the, it gets upscaled or anything, but, um, hold on. I don't know why our alarm's going off this early in the morning. Anyway, I think I'm signed in. Never use Xbox Live. I don't have an Xbox really, except the 360. Most would say that's not really an Xbox right now. Uh, there we go. I got like maybe 18 friends that I added, just recommended friends. I don't know any of them. But I even have Major Nelson, or whatever the that is. It's supposed to be some dude, I don't know. <laughs> Because I did the stream thing on my brother's Xbox, Major Nelson's updates kept popping up. So on his Xbox, that was funny. I had to turn off occasions off. Uh, he was so stuck in Fallout 4 that he couldn't even 
exit out for one minute to turn off notifications. <laughs> so we got constant updates from Major Nelson, which uh, was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. Anyway. I never really used Xbox before. Right before um, I'm in this current situation here, right before I was, right before, no, I was on my PC, um, I was using the Xbox part of Windows 10 to play like Solitaire, like a Tri Peaks, you know, it's called Tri Peaks. And I was really good at it. It was a pretty fun game. I, I, I like Tri Peaks Solitaire. And I was going to get into the other games. I downloaded the free ones. But I would never actually buy these games. So that whole rumor about Xbox um, Live or Xbox games becoming a threat to Steam. Complete and utter malarkey. I mean, nobody takes it seriously. No, nobody would replace Steam with Xbox games. Not 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 for the PC platform. So. Anyway. Just a little rant there. And that's me. In case you want to add me. Because I'm bored. <laughs> anyway. And uh Yeah, okay, I'm waiting for that to come. Got the spawn background and the rain meter going off there. Uh, well, um, anyway, I just want to let you know that I'm either going to make a new channel or change up what I make. I'm not sure. Like, if I get NVIDIA Shield, I'll probably make videos for that. Because uh, I'm really interested in the, the NVIDIA Shield console. It's not even a console, really. It's straight 4K movies from Netflix, for fuck's sake. And Xbox One cannot do that. But it's still an Android device, so... Got that stigma. But it's real powerful. And it's got games that aren't for Android, like, owned and shit. You can get the tablet games. That, that, no, I mean, that's the same, basically. But only for the Nvidia Shield tablet. But, yeah. I've had this poster forever. i <laughs> show you that. Got the scatter over there. And on the two little monitors. Got the Tower of Shame there. And, uh. Oh, things have been less hectic lately. A lot less hectic. But, uh... I don't know if I want to keep making YouTube videos, really. I mean... It's not a source of income or anything. It's, uh... I just made them to have fun. Made them to make them, really. Should this be a series? Oh, sorry. Uh, should this be a series? Not sure. But like I said, I'm not, I'm, I might not even make anything else. Disenfranchised for so many things right now. But you got all this bad stuff happening in your life. All this bad stuff other people doing. It's just games or something to, you know, keep you out of trouble. As opposed to, like, I don't know, smoking a crack pipe.
gonna be uh Sorry about the cigarettes. I ain't been smoking much lately. I haven't I ran out of cigarettes, couldn't get any for a long time. So little by little, very little by little. So I just happened upon a whole carton, so happy about that. I'm addicted to cigarettes. Marlboro Red specifically was what I like and um Dr. Pepper. That's it. Stimulants. Just a very mild stimulants. I mean, quitting smoking is hard, but it's really just a stimulant. And a stimulant is not that bad. Chemically speaking. It's uh it runs on the same wavelength as uh on, well it runs it run, on your brain stem, um, which controls food, appetite, sex drive, uh, the impulsive, uh, the very powerful, uh, brain impulses that, you know, are in the category of, of the need category. That's your, uh, that's your body and brain, um, uh, are programmed to, um, consider a need. So, get addicted to the cigarettes, it becomes a need, literally, because the brain, um, reads it that way, so, do not smoke, if you're thinking of being cool and smoking, it's not cool, don't ever smoke, just a public service announcement there, uh, Dr. Pepper and soda, Mountain Dew maybe, I'm, it's addictive, yes, and it's, if you got an addiction like this, like a cig like cigarette addiction, don't drink soda. It'll make it worse. Because if you have to quit the soda, it'll make it it'll make uh getting off of it even harder. Yeah. Anything on my little USB flash drive that I could read to you or something. Oh, sorry, I, I thought it did something wrong there. No, no open Windows Media. I should just get a laptop. I mean, I like this setup okay. I just, I'm, I'm gonna move my mini desk over there with the small form factor PC I bought. Case, bare bones, whatever. It's an ITX. Oh, and it's Thanksgiving. Well, I probably won't have Thanksgiving this year. I think it'll be the second year that that's happened. So it's not that bad. Warcraft, I made lore for my characters. Nobody did that other than Lord of Warcraft. That's type of, that's more of a, you know, something for different games. But. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of a weird story. It is about my night elf. Long ago, now Gyrus acted as a roaming agent against threats such as satire and growing concerned with other people of the Night Elves. People of the Night Elves. Well, then, in their Donassus, spending a lot of time with his own people, he one day seemingly met Yasera's daughter, Marithra. And they would secretly meet outside of Dardasus in a hidden path. Now Garrus was attracted to her energy and beauty, 
and the daughter of Usera was attracted to his humility, grace, and form. <coughs> they soon pledged love and spent as much time together as possible as they possibly could. One day, out of the blue, she told Nagaris that her that her, <laughs> her bond with him meant everything, but he had been he had to be broken for she had a task that was so that was too important. The next day, tears were in both their eyes as they said farewell to each other, merely holding, holding hands in front of one another and kissing one last time. Her not ill form eventually leaving in the far distance as she did not ever want to see want him to see her as she was. She believed it would change the, their love. For years now, Gareth struggled or struggled to concentrate on the matters at hand and had terrible dreams every night he would awake feeling alone and confused and feel a dark fog in his mind he knew something was wrong with Bertha, or <laughs> Marithra but did not know what as she told him nothing of her mission he expected her back long before now and feigned asking her mother out of sheer fear of it after some subtle talk and asking around, he realized how truly out of touch she was with the situation and the war of the shifting sands. While he felt the unfathomable love for her, he feels as though he had been used by the aspect. He noticed that they never spoke of her, only him and his people and history. Usually at the moon well, there were where they would hold hands and throw petals in, in and speak to each other in Darnassia. Now Garrus learned of the the quad the the quirgi, the quirgi, quirgi, not sure what that says and of the evil god Cthulhu through an Illuminate priest Illuminate priest Illuminate priest though the proper ways through the proper ways, <coughs> discerned that his nightmares were coming from both Marithra and Cthulhu. While Marithra was not trying to harm her lover, she was using a dream state to try to reach him, and Cthulhu was corrupting it as it went forth. Angered beyond belief, now Garrus now seeked to free his love from the grips of his madness, which he knew well each and every time he slept. The priest, however, explained in great detail the impossibility of it at, at that time alone, and that, that one day he may be able to, but at present it was merely a dream. Using night elf magic, he trapped himself in a dream to be with Marithra. Even with Cthulhu coming between them in visions of horror they endured, all would be for naught, however, as Cthulhu trapped him in, a, in the dream, which later became a nightmare. And for, set, and for 500 days, the druids watched as many strange things happened, and they did nothing, as per their orders. Marithra had just enough power to completely block the villain long enough to tell him that she will always be with him in spirit, and that they would meet again some day. Nagaris woke weak and anxious from the nightmare. The Druids healed him over the course of a week. He was less than he was. He was not near as strong, neither in body or mind. The years passed, and he never became happy, but somewhat content with him, with himself and others. He traveled forth searching for himself and Whenever he sees a moon well, he thinks of the long lost things of the world. That's a pretty sappy story, but I was playing a night elf on World of Warcraft, so you'll see me. I got an orc one too. It's more diabolical because he's a warlock. What's his name? Uh, damn it, I can't think of his name. I'd have to know his name to find the file. <laughs> I got a lot of these. 
days. I am a writer. So I just write to write. I might read some of these later. Oh, here we go. I call it a storm we a storm reaver remnant. And I'll let this be it. As far as the reading goes. It was a long one. Okay. Well. It's called a storm reaver remnant. It's a short story about my orc warlock that I play on World of Warcraft. Taking a trip out memory lane where I ain't got a PC right now, but what the fuck? I don't know. <clears throat> oh. I was messed up a little bit. I'm gonna drink something. Hold on. Do I have a good paper? Oh, wait.